shout out to all the kids that successfully tracked down their fathers before Father's Day. You deserve to have a pappy. For all the loser kids who couldn't track down their dads, you got 18 years to make it happen. Come on, get, up, get your game up. Nobody likes a loser, okay? No, I'm just playing. Hopefully everyone had a decent Father's Day. Uh, my name is Hero. This is Coding with Strangers. And I want to talk about something. Man, it's kind of disturbing how dynamic shift and change. Because of capitalism in this country, and it's a beautiful thing to a certain extent when it comes to circumstances that it pertains to the environment or how people are treated work labor forces that's when it gets gritty when capitalism is too efficient it becomes destructive that's how we end up in a situation where you always have to make more it didn't stop with just being the iphone 12 max pro it has to be the iphone ai 12 max 18 shove it up your ass take a picture of your rectal and make sure you don't have any type of cancers right like your phone is becoming too much too useful if, if that's even a way is too there's too much to do that you don't even have the full range of use of it anymore there are people who don't there are people who will buy an iphone or a smartphone today and will never unlock the true capacity or capabilities of it a lot of people are reflecting this as the stock market apple stock prices went through the roof after they did their wwdc 2024 makes sense because the common person doesn't really understand how middling, av middlingly average the conference was from a standpoint that, and before you start saying, oh, I'm just a hater, just remember, I saw a bunch of people cheer for a calculator app being added to, a, to an iPad. So after seeing what makes you cheer, I am not opposed to being the reason why you boo. You feel me? Go, get, go, 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 go find yourself somewhere. Go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> talking shit about me you cheered for a calculator app shut up <laughs> but when I'm not sitting on my uh, high horse berating people for just enjoying their life I'd like to take a closer look at some of the things that ChatGPT while not readily taking my job it is taking certain people's jobs and I think we have to be able to speak admit, like vehemently against this because when they came for the actors, writers, sound crews, and all of those people involved in Hollywood, there was a vicious response that caused them to retract. But this same liberty isn't being given to a very vulnerable part of our community. But a vulnerable part of our community that it has responsible for, dare I say, some of the most authentic, actually like groundbreaking artwork in our culture. And that's from the freelancers. Now, I get it. There's a, a range of freelancers out there. We have the we have the, the, the homies that they'll do your work for you for five dollars. But you paid five dollars. So I don't want to hear nothing about what you got. And then we have those five star quality individuals who have gone independent and have 10 years of experience. And yeah, you got to pay sixty dollars an hour, but you're going to get quality work. And it's just a question about whenever I, there's a question of freelancing or outsourcing work how much bang for your buck can you get and in a world where capitalism has run a rapid it's quite apparent that they're willing to throw everything to the wind in order to gain the ultimate prize which is not paying anyone to do something uh, the ultimate price is freedom right ChatGPT has caused a massive drop in demand for online digital freelancers here's what you can do to protect yourself and let me just keep it quite frank Usually whenever I see something where someone says, here is what you can do to protect yourself, I'm pretty sure there's not, like, you're, you're giving away the secret. There's nothing in this article that will probably be able to protect you. The only way to truly protect yourself in this, and they might say it, who knows, that's called prejudgment, is to acquire skills that make you valuable. If the skills you have do not set you apart from the 110,000 other people you can't expect it. Anybody can go to the rec or the YMCA to shoot hoops. Not everyone's going to be in a game five up by 10 in a 3-1 lead. Not everyone can do that. And that's why they are getting paid. And that's why you have to pay to go to the gym. There's a difference. 
Many employees, especially those working in creative fields, are understandably worried f- by the prospects of AI stealing their job, and new research has found it may not be an unfound fear. A report from the Imperial College Business School, Harvard Business School, and German Institute of Economic Research found that the demand for digital freelancers in writing and coding declined 21% since the launch of ChatGPT in November 2022. This is fascinating to me because in ChatGPT, it's a disclaimer talking about how this cannot be used for for business rights. Like, our a misconception of AI has truly made us pawns. And it's just, it's really just annoying. It's becoming more and more annoying. Like I said, the more I understand about AI, the the less impressed I am. AI is just a very good search algorithm. It is an algorithm. It is not an artificial intelligence. AI cannot think independent of itself and it cannot create new ideas. It is an algorithm. And data that supports and this is at the very basic logic level that what most people have access to. Now, there are large language models that are being used to calibrate combinations of drugs that we've never seen before. But there's also calibrations of drugs that they literally will tell it not to make and it will just make it in reverse and say, see, look, I didn't make it. So I'm not impressed. But hearing that coding and writing, these two things going down 21% in 2022 is shocking, especially since we know Devin Remember Devin, everybody? Let's let's pour one out for Devin. Beta! Remember when Devin said it was going to take over all coding jobs? We haven't heard shit about Devin in a minute. Or Copilot, the mustache bandit himself, Primogen, talks about how he stopped using it because it was so prone to giving him errors that he would later have to go back and fix. And this is why I have a golden rule on my on my channel where... ChatGPT is in our first line of defense. We will grind out every motion and use our logic for what we want to write and then figure out how to turn that logic into code. And these are empirical skills that everyone needs. But the the most damning thing about this is the side effect. If ChatGPT is doing the jobs of junior devs, who are going to be promoted to senior devs? There's 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 less and less positions where junior devs are now not even required and you have to have three to five experience to get a senior dev position. But if there was no one to rear that person up or bring that person up the pipeline, it becomes kind of a waste. And this is also another huge error is companies aren't very much invested in employee development. It's not a strong point for them. It's not a selling point for them. They want you to come as you are great already and do great things for their company. And that's why you don't see any innovation, really. Like We're at this point where everyone thinks like progression is just a very linear progression, but actually it comes at exponents and then it plateaus. (laughs) It flattens out and it will stay there for years, decades as this as the world accumulates information about what the next best thing and what's going to help boost them to the next level. We haven't figured that out yet. We And we think ChatGPT is the answer, but it's quite apparent that we do not know what that next exponential growth is going to come from. It's, and it's going to probably look way worse because we don't have the minds being trained up to bring about that change. Automation prone fields like writing software App development saw a 21% decrease in job listings, while data entry, social media post production experienced a 13% drop. Image generation roles, including graphic designs and 3D modeling, fell by 17%. Google search trend confirmed a higher decline in sectors aware and using generative AI. Gloomy job market studies titled who is re- who is AI replacing? We read that article. The impact of generative AI online freelance platforms analyzed nearly two million jobs postings across sixty one jobs, sixty one countries from July twenty twenty one to July twenty twenty three, categorizing jobs into automation prone roles, manual work, and image generation, and discovered the significant decline in posting across these sectors following the launch of ChatGPT. GPT. Uh, Doctor. Zhu, co-author 
assistant professor of marketing imperial college business school said despite being available on the market for just over a year ChatGPT has already had a huge impact on the workplace though many organizations may be shifting from freelancers to generative ai it still remains to be seen whether organizations are happy with the quality of work that ai provides in comparison to freelancers and whether this trend will continue it's not all bad news though although the findings of our research suggests that the job market looks gloomy wherever whenever technology sweeps professionals aside new ones will emerge for freelancers this means those people adapt their skill set to changing landscapes will continue to secure work in the future she concluded this one's kind of a weird one for me to kind of digest or take in because the thing that's going to hurt them the most is that these models are being trained on people's work so it's only going to get better and my prime example like i said my example for how how good this generative image stuff is doing show me a picture of will smith eating spaghetti and let me determine how good it's getting and based on what it was back in 2121 to what it is today it has significantly gotten better but i think she makes a great point when she mentions will this be quality work the answer is absolutely no today furthermore how good does it have to be in order for a mass adoption from people right there the the only animated movie i have seen since toy story 3 was into the spider verse and across the spider verse and that's not by accident that was a graphical showcasing beyond reproach there's nothing on there's no generative ai in the planet that could recreate such stunning work furthermore if you think that goopity glop that kids use or kids watch on the internet is good enough it's not going to last we we see this and you probably see this already because a lot of people already watch ai generated content they just don't know it you'll be watching scrolling through tiktok or instagram and you'll see those surfer surfer people or people breaking up things or random pictures of telling the story that you're hearing that is ai that is literally ai hearing a story making the images for the story an automation that uploads the story and posts it and it's just garbage that's being recycled on itself but there's a reason why i block those channels when they pop up is because they're not quality work and and once again it's human beings do want to feel like they're being respected or at least being treated as if they have a brain and there's nothing more condescending than a, a artwork implying you need to your hand held to understand something some of the greatest artworks that's literally what the twist the the, the genre of the twist genre is is S testing your audience to see if they were paying attention and for the ones who were they're rewarded with this with being self-aware enough to know what the twist was while the other party audience is left with this surprise and shock that some say is even more admirable than than knowing what's going to happen next and that's why spoilers are so annoying right so I, I i tend to go half and half with this idea but i i get where she's coming from what can what can you do to protect yourself okay so this is the part where they say how to protect yourself there's no question that the threat of digital freelancers is real and will become more significant as ChatGPT and other AI tools improve. The future may look bleak, but Dr. Xu says it is not entirely hopeless. You can protect yourself from the challenges of AI by diversifying your skill sets and specializing in areas where human creativity and emotional intelligence are essential. I told you guys this this article wasn't saying nothing. Oh, uh, satisfy my skill set. Okay, it took me 20 years to get this good. Hey, make your skill set something unique that only you can do. Cool. Only I can do this, except for when they put every single detail of my work into the chat GPT and they're able to emulate it. So basically, essentially, is what they're telling you is get good, scrub. Get good, scrub. If a robot can do it, go. <laughs> then how good are you really?
let's maybe there's some better okay maybe i prejudged it let me see if there's some better advice here let me see if there is some better advice such as strategic thinking complex problem solving and nuanced content creation additionally embracing ai tools to boost productivity and quality of your work could turn potential threats into advantages ai isn't going away and so we're all going to have to learn how to work with alongside it and they, they make good point here but we are still at a horrible disadvantage there's a reason why we have to wait another year for part three part two of across the spider-verse because qu actual quality work takes time and when you and in in the eyes of capitalism in the eyes of corporate america if, if we're not making money we're not we're not going to waste time we're definitely not going to be making money not making money and wasting time at the same time so this is sort of like yeah get better get stronger but the more the, the time is going to take once again your skill set is set on a trajectory and that trajectory is not going to be matched or met at the same exponential rate that ChatGPT is so instead unless you can find a way to become exponentially better than you are today with the time that you are allotted today, what's your game plan, right? So what's your game plan for that? It, this, uh, okay, and maybe, maybe, maybe they'll say something in the last paragraph that'll make me say, you know what? I'm sorry, I was wrong. Building a personal brand and networking exclusive extensively are also crucial, as these can lead to opportunities that purely AI-driven services cannot compete with. It's also important to remember ChatGPT will rarely produce exactly what a company is looking for. The images it creates might have flaws, a finger too many on a hand, or a bizarre glitching, and articles may include content that's simply not true. Code written by AI introduced logic and syntax errors, efficient efficiency problems, and even security vulnerabilities, all of which can prove costly down the road. So basically, they're telling you, guys, don't worry. ChatGPT is trash, it's dog water right now. And you know how many fingers are on one hand, and you know there aren't no semicolons in Python. But the moment it ChatGPT figures out those two things, you're done for it, right? Get fucked. So essentially what we've ascertained from this is you need to find a way to exponentially get growth. And I think the only good piece of advice that came here is your connections. If you are if you if you are a person that works in freelance and do not surround yourself in a web of people who can speak good on your name. I've and when I used to do freelance, I remember I didn't get I got 60 percent of my jobs, not from direct handshakes I made, but from people recommending me. That's how I got my job at Adult Swim as a ghost illustrator and promotional illustrator. It was through shaking hands. Uh, artist named Don, who sang a few intro songs for Adult Swim, uh, was in charge of the channel, said she was looking for some artists. I hit it, slid in her DMs. And she put me in contact with so many people. It was crazy. But that's how you do it. And that's how it's done. Everything else in here is 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 dog water, honestly. There's it's coming, it's going to get better, it's going to remove a vast majority of people. But not everybody can create into the Spider-Verse art to like that art style took took years to, to develop and and actually perform. And and if you look at into the Spider-Verse versus across the Spider-Verse, you can clearly see how junior that first version was. Um, it looks, dare I say, PlayStation 2 era bad by comparison of what we got in the newer version. So there needs to be a way of us protecting ourselves as a collective group, maybe a union, maybe something that will help safeguard these freelance positions. But really what needs to happen is the artificial intelligence that is being trained on this free data that isn't really free needs to be held accountable. Anybody that uses ChatGPT or large language models that didn't get proper clearance from their databases 
should not be used in commercial ways. And we see this a little bit already. I think that movie Civil War had promotional videos about Chicago in New York. And anyone who's ever been to Chicago knows like the bu the buildings weren't right in New York. Uh, there were things missing that just didn't look right. It, and, and people will not accept this. People won't go to the movies and people aren't going to the movies. So this needs to be a renaissance of the movies industry. And if they think using secondhand chat GPT slop is going to do it, they're dead wrong. But let me know what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate your faces. Somebody moan in the back. Ain't none of y'all hit my Patreon up. What's up? You're going to fight.